So I'm Mark Doherty, I'm the Executive Director of Nursing and Clinical Commissioning of West Midlands Ambulance Service. So for example, on a typical 12-hour shift, uh, a paramedic and technician crew would normally deal with around seven to eight patients. Um, with the current difficulties we have with handing patients over, that number can be as few as three patients on a 12-hour shift. And that's not what our paramedics and technicians want to do, particularly when they know there's patients out there waiting for their help. That's really, really frustrating. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, they get very frustrated and demoralised that when they attend the patient, sometimes they're turning up to patients who have passed away whilst waiting for an ambulance, or indeed, by the time they get to the patient, the patient actually is in a very poor state or in a poor state and we've got angry relatives because they too are frustrated. So it really does um, get to people's confidence and morale you know, when people that have come into the health service to be out there all the time helping people are frustrated in their attempts to get out there and do the job that they're, they're trained to do and that they're, they're, they're really very good at doing. So it is a difficult environment at the moment. Um, I don't see that it's radically going to get better anytime soon. So to some extent, what we've got to do is start to work around all the challenges that we've got. So where we've got patients waiting long periods of time, we've got to make sure that we provide the utmost level of patient care and safety to that patient. And we've got to make sure that we do everything in our power to deliver the care that we can with the current challenges that the NHS is facing, albeit that it's very difficult for staff. Um, you know, I know we've got a group of staff that will never, ever give up on patients. They will always try their best.